Hi, this is Corliss Blakely, and I, I'm having a new video today, and then this is going to be some wild roses that I have at my summer cottage on Butler Island. I love painting flowers. Anyways, this is a close-up, and this shows you the end of the painting, and I'm going to be walking you through how I did this. Here I did, I just did a small drawing, very simple, of the rose and the rose hips. And then I went around and put a masking fluid around it so I could soak it with lots of water. By putting in the background, I kept it very, very wet and I kept adding in different colors. I used Payne's Gray, Cobalt Blue, Raw Sienna, and my greens. Um, I have quite a selection of greens that I'll be showing you. Here I'm blocking in basically the leaves and just adding some light and putting in a little bit of detail in the veins and adding some depth in the background. This shows part of my palette and this just gives you a little idea of all the different greens that I used. Um, sap green, gold green, and I love my Indian yellow and raw sienna mixed in with cobalt blue. Okay, so now I'm basically starting to get the feel of the painting and I'm adding more depth to the background and then deepening in with the paint's gray and adding more detail in the flowers and the, and the leaves in the background. Um, I still wanted to get more intense looks, so I added more uh, color to the background and I really wanted the rose hips to pop out. And so now what I'm doing is I'm adding the greens in the background and you'll see um, there's more and more light coming through, adding a lot more uh, texture and detail to the leaves and adding in the leaves on the rose hips. And the rose hips, here I have added the values of the poppies and I finished the rose hips. I've added reds and yellows and raw sienas. And here is the finished painting. This is just a quick video showing you how I would paint a wild rose. And here's a detailed uh, picture of the, all my steps, and you can look through that. And if you have any questions, you can email me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've had a lot of fun making it.